So um, another integration we've been working on is GitLab. So on this integrations page, if we go into add on here. So um, before this demo, I have set up GitLab locally on this machine and created a burp user and generated an access token for that user. So if we grab those credentials, so grab the token and back to here. I'm just going to enter the URL, which is running locally, and the access token, which I've just copied. So if we hit connect, hopefully it connects. So we can see in this top half here that we've got um, a good connection to GitLab. So in this bottom half here, um, the user can choose the project and ticket type combinations that they're interested in. So I'm going to go and choose the final project here and as an issue. So you can also create multiple um, entries here as well, but for the sake of demo here, I'm just going to add the one. So I'm going to hit save, and then that's saved. So now GitLab is configured. So I head on over to the scans and find a scan with an issue. So let's look at Spook Savers. And if we go into issues and click on one of the issues, we'll see in the top right here, there's a raise GitLab ticket button. So if I go into here, so we presented with two options. So we can either link to an existing issue. So if I've already created an issue um, under a project in GitLab, I can link to an existing one. All I need to do is select the project and enter the GitLab issue number. But in our case, we're just going to create a new issue. So under the one I've selected earlier, which is the final project, we'll hit create. So that has now created a ticket in GitLab. So if we go to the link tickets tab, we can see that it's um, loaded a preview of the GitLab issue here. So we can see it's issue number two. We can see a title and we can see the states currently opened. So this two here provides a hyperlink directly into GitLab. So if I go into here, so this is the issue that's just been created by the Burp user. So we'll see a bit of information in here about the issue, things like severity, confidence, and so on, and a bit more uh, detail further down. Also notice that on the right-hand side, um, we've labeled um, the issue as well. And towards the bottom, so the other thing we do is add a comment at the bottom that actually links directly back to enterprise. So you can actually click on that and go straight back to the issue in enterprise. So as we can see, the status is open. So what I'm going to do is actually close the issue. So now it's closed. So if I go back down and head back into enterprise via this link, hopefully that should be reflected in here. So yeah, we can see now the status is closed. So it's pulled that through from GitLab. And the final thing on here is we can also unlink a GitLab issue. So what that means is we remove it from enterprise. So it removes it from this uh, tab and also removes that link um, from within GitLab. And that's everything from me.